tropics are heating up. This is Tropical Depression 9. We've got two other systems out there, but look at what 9 may do for us as we get you closer to the weekend. Approaching areas along the Gulf of Mexico. We're talking about the Gulf Coast areas from Mississippi, the Pensacola, Florida area, the peninsula of Florida, all the way west as we head out toward Louisiana. We may begin to see hurricane to tropical storm force winds developing as we get you into late Sunday afternoon. Then things kick up a notch. We may see gusts as high as 71 miles an hour, if not higher. Our forecast models right now uh, with the National Hurricane Center leading that forecast here and taking it in over the Gulf by Saturday afternoon. So it making its way between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. It'll have a tropical storm strength winds and rain with it. That could cause some mudslides for folks in Cuba, but we're looking then at it impacting as potentially in landfall category two overnight Sunday into Monday morning. Right now the system is a depression. It's number nine. It'll be likely be Ida and that's the next name storm that we have on our list, but you're looking at that coming in on shore as we get you into early morning on Monday as a category two downgraded to a one. How long that stays as a category one still an issue for us, but we expect by Tuesday it'll be downgraded to depression and lifting through the midsection of the country. No current risk for us here, but we may begin to see some major issues, certainly along the Florida beaches and Ida, as we mentioned, is the next name system on this list than Julian. We have two other tropical systems that also have a chance to be named. Really the one in the central Atlantic that may not impact anyone that could be named Julian. We'd expect Ida to have the best chance to be named first. Alright, beaches forecast for us. If you're wondering for the next several days, it's hot and it's going to feel hotter than this. We'll feel like the 90s in most beach locations unless you have a breeze pick up and it looks limited for storm chances there. So those tropical areas of interest we are done with uh, Henri, of course, that was the last system and we had Fred just a couple of weeks ago and now we are on our way to seeing dry conditions for you across the Piedmont. We may be able to break that streak if we tap into some of that tropical moisture that moves in by middle of next week with that cold front. This could break that stretch of 90s and help us get back to those 80s. We should be at about 86 degrees this time of the year. Foothill conditions, Yagginville out through North Wilkesboro. We're at 91 for your Saturday forecast and those upper 80s returning Tuesday. Your storm chances just to stray one here or there and they're going to form overhead. We have very limited wind, so the low winds and the juicy tropical moisture may keep us in a stormy pattern. So it is milder for folks in the mountains as we get you into Tuesday. You're increasing rain chances. We may be able to lift some of that moisture ahead of our front and possibly some of it may become tropical moisture. So we'll look a closer look at that as we get to closer to next week. Look at the seven day forecast. Plenty of 90s, a nice stretch of them. We'll have more.